Do digital platforms change markets for better or worse? To help understand this, we use the lens of institutional voids in our recent paper in World Development Journal entitled Digital Platforms and Institutional Voids in Developing Countries. This argues that markets don't work properly because they have institutional shortcomings, sometimes called voids, inadequate provision of information, limited matching of buyers and sellers, poor management of transactions, ineffective market regulation, etc. A promise of digital platforms is that they will fill these voids and change markets for the good. So we investigated this using evidence from Colombia and from the South Africa Fair Work project on taxi markets before and after the advent of three e-hailing platforms, Uber, Bolt and Easy Taxi. The before picture was far from perfect. Institutional voids led to taxi markets with problems including high costs, crime, insecurity, opportunism, informality, discrimination. Now, as predicted by the literature, the gig economy platforms filled some of the institutional voids that led to this profile. This reduced costs and risks for both drivers and passengers, improved vehicle and service quality, and it also enabled employment for those excluded from the traditional market. And yet, in contrast to past research on business and institutional voids in the Global South, we found that void filling is not all that platform companies do. They also maintain some voids, such as lack of information and lack of formal employment status for drivers. They expand some voids, such as lack of information available to government, and they create some voids by circumventing the regulatory roles performed by government agencies and driver collective bodies. The core impact of these additional strategies is to increase the relative power of the platform company vis-a-vis -vis other market stakeholders and to make the market much more unequal. Going far beyond the typical role of business, platform companies have internalized the institutions for a whole gamma of market functions, collapsing an entire organizational field into themselves. And so the previously distributed and dissipated institutional power that platforms have concentrated into themselves is unprecedented, particularly if you think about the duopolistic nature of the markets that are often created. Filling institutional voids is also not wholly beneficial. Our research also identified problems caused by, for example, the digitalizations, the formalizations that platforms bring. Having said that, our key recommendation is a need to identify and address the voids that these companies are retaining or making. Actions needed include information provision to address customer driver asymmetries, revitalized state control over market supply demand imbalance, new legislation to address lack of employment rights for workers, and more effective worker collectivization. Overall, our research represents a novel insight into the relation between platforms, institutions, and markets. And we look forward to further work applying these ideas to other sectors and contexts. This has been one example of the research from the Centre for Digital Development at the University of Manchester. If you'd like to know more, check out our website and our working paper series.